everybody. Hello, agencies, and hello, George and Theo. Welcome to our webinar of March. Today, we are going to welcome very special guests who are studying Greece, and they are the Greece National Agency to internationalize the higher education and international student service. And we have already met George and Theo at our global conference in 2023. You can also see the interview of Study in Greece on our YouTube channel as well with Theo, which is <laughs> very awesome. And uh, yeah, today they are going to touch on many wonderful offers when it comes to study in Greece. You have already known Greece for beautiful landmarks and a beautiful culture, and today you are going to even know more about it. Thank you, Ngoc. Uh, thank you all at the Next24. Uh, first of all, I would like, I'm Theodore or Theo Papayoano, Executive Director of Study in Greece. And uh, I would like first to express my heartfelt gratitude to, to the Net24 friends and partners uh, for their cooperation, exceptional cooperation and uh, great contribution to our endeavors to internationalize uh, Greek higher education and uh, to congratulate them for building and providing this uh, uh, platform, a uh, really international platform and multicultural environment for share, uh, exchange and networking. Um, it's my colleague. Hi, I'm George. George. It's nice to meet you. Uh, it is uh, a great honor being here uh, with our wonderful partners from Not24. It was uh, love on the first sight when we met uh, in uh, Poland at their uh, fantastic conference there. And uh, I think the collaboration will um, create many, uh, many fantastic collaborations between, uh, between uh, agents and also help promote Greece uh, Greece abroad, so we're really happy to be here. So, uh, moving on to our today's presentation, I would like first to uh, present studying Greece and then uh, uh, relate studying Greece with the presentation, the introduction of uh, Greek higher education landscape and uh, internationalization of Greek universities. So studying Greece is uh, Greece's uh, national agency for the international promotion of Greek universities and internationalization of Greek higher education. Um, it started uh, as a, as a uh, pilot project, we can say, uh, back in uh, 2015. Uh, from a professor at uh, Harakopio University, Athens, a computer scientist, uh, who had the idea to create a, a virtual platform, a database uh, to, to list and promote all uh, academic offerings, programs of Greek universities. Um, the big change uh, occurred in uh, 2019 when um, uh, studying Greece uh, received uh, state funding uh, because internationalization uh, started to to enrich the vocabulary of uh, the Greek state and to be one of the main pillars and priorities of uh, the Greek Ministry of Education. Um, back then, 2019, uh, it was it started as a as a project funded by the Greek state to promote Greek universities. Um, we have participated in more than uh, 30 uh, education fairs uh, organized all around the globe, um, and we started to build uh, cooperation frameworks with uh, strategic partners and embassies, foreign embassies. Uh, in Greece and international institutions in order to uh, create a fertile environment of uh, networking and uh, strategic partnerships between Greek and international institutions. Um, now, studying Greece is uh, a, a national agency and why? What does it mean? 
as a legal status. Studying Greece is a, an NGO, a non-for-profit organization uh, composed of representatives of all 24 uh, Greek state universities. It has a board of directors of nine out of the 24. Um, these 24 representatives uh, are uh, vice rectors of international relations of Greek universities. And uh, its uh, core mission is to, first of all, to create, to, to craft uh, an internationalization strategy, both for Greece at the national level, uh, as well as uh, for uh, Greek universities uh, at an institutional level. Um, so studying Greece, along with the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, um, sets the strategic priorities regarding uh, internationalization and global engagement of Greek higher education. Uh, can you change this first? Uh, so, uh, our core mission uh, consists of uh, four basic uh, pillars. Uh, first of all, enhancing the global presence of uh, Greek universities. How? Uh, through the participation in uh, international events like uh, conferences and exhibitions and fairs. Um, uh, through webinars and workshops uh, in collaboration with uh, national with international agencies like Net24, um, uh, through the through our collaboration with uh, our strategic partners like the British Council uh, for the UK Greece Strategic Partnership in Education, with the Institute of International Education in Washington and Fulbright Greece with the US Embassy in Athens, of course, for the promotion and for the um, to, to foster synergies between US institutions and Greek uh, universities, uh, with Campus France for to create uh, uh, a productive environment to, to exchange and uh, forge contacts and uh, collaboration between French institutions and Greek institutions with DAAD, uh, to do uh, something similar for uh, German institutions and Greek universities and goes on. Um, we also collaborate with uh, international marketing platforms like uh, study portals, Keystone, Times Higher Education, uh, to name a few, uh, in order to uh, create uh, dissemination uh, and promotion packages for Greek universities to increase awareness uh, about their academic offerings. Um, so um, study, it's, uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, the second pillar, uh, pillar has to do with uh, the creation of a whole uh, digital uh, ecosystem, uh, including uh, digital platforms. Uh, that uh, the Study in Greece uh, I, I, IT team has created. We have a bachelor's platform, a master's platform, uh, an applications platform, um, scholarships platform, um, uh, matching for the academic uh, matching in order to, to advance uh, partnerships and cooperation between international and Greek uh, uh, professors and institutions. Uh, we have created Ithaca, the International Hellenic Academia, uh, because as you may know, uh, Greek, uh, Greece has uh, an international diaspora of professors and uh, uh, professionals in the field of uh, higher education, and we want to create a, a virtual community in order to um, connect them with uh, Greek higher education. And of course, we have our help desk where, where we receive um, all your, your questions and we guide international students as well as our partners. Um, so um, regarding our strategic partners, of course, we uh, collaborate with uh, universities, Greek universities and international universities. Um, in order to um, 
organize and implement uh, collaboration frameworks and uh, partnerships. Um, studying Greece, uh, of course, is uh, backed by, as I, as I already mentioned, by uh, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as well as the Ministry of Culture and the Ministry of uh, Tourism. Um, so, uh, with the universities, Greek and foreign, uh, we are trying to uh, to create, to, to conceive and create uh, frameworks that facilitate networking and uh, the building of sustainable partnerships, as you already mentioned, with our foreign partners like the UK Embassy and British Council, the, Institute, the IIE and the US Embassy, uh, the French Embassy and Countries France, the DAAD and the German Embassy, uh, and um, we have the honor and pleasure to um, have on our part uh, all Greek diplomatic missions uh, overseas. Um, for example, our embassy in New Delhi, uh, they're doing a great job in connecting uh, Indian universities with uh, Indian universities and uh, Indian uh, uh, interested students in to Greece. Uh, through us, through studying Greece, um, our embassy in uh, in the U.S. in Washington uh, is doing a great job, as well as our the whole network of our diplomatic authorities in the U.S. are doing a great job uh, in uh, increasing awareness about uh, Greek higher education, and it is uh, we should. Uh, uh, underline uh, that Greece is the eighth uh, U.S. study abroad destination, so choice of American students to study abroad. Uh, American students um, choose um, short-term courses in Greece, uh, semester abroad programs and short-term summer programs mainly. Um, and we also collaborate with the uh, uh, I forgot to mention with the Chinese Service Center of Scholarly Exchange uh, and the Chinese Embassy in Athens uh, and our Embassy in uh, Beijing um, to to promote enhanced collaboration between China and Greece in uh, higher education. Um, okay, without further ado, I would like to. Um, induct you, present you the Greek uh, higher education landscape. Um, let me move on. No. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there are uh, 24 uh, public state universities uh, in Greece spread across uh, the country. And uh, I am mentioning public because uh, we do not have uh, private universities yet. Uh, our reform has been implemented uh, within the last month, which uh, gives the opportunity to uh, private colleges to become, to be recognized as uh, universities in Greece. Uh, so, uh, actually, we have 24 universities. Uh, of course, they're uh, part of the European Union uh, accreditation system, uh, because Greece is uh, part of a, a country member of the uh, European Union. Um, Greek, to give you the, um, the nature of Greek higher education, uh, some words about the hypostasis the, the, and the framework of Greek higher education. Uh, we can say that Greek uh, universities are research-oriented uh, institutions like uh, the vast majority of European uh, higher education institutions. Uh, they're driven by this uh, Humboldtian spirit and perception of uh, higher education, which relates uh, deeply and strongly higher education with uh, scientific uh, research. Um, and they're not yet uh, market business oriented institutions. Uh, apart from one or two, the Athens University of Economics and Business, for example. Um, but uh, within the last uh, two, three years, um, we're trying uh, to, to change this uh, perception and culture in order to adapt to the 
changing dynamics of the global rapidly changing environment. So, and internationalization, of course, and modern, modernization is part of this uh, uh, vision, uh, transformative uh, vision. Um, so, uh, out of these 24 higher education institutions, uh, there are uh, four uh, medical schools and, uh, no, five medical schools, sorry, and four polytechnic schools. Um, so, uh, Greek universities offer, offer, as you can imagine, uh, uh, a broad, a wide range of uh, programs. Um, which cover the whole spectrum of uh, the whole scientific spectrum from arts and sciences, uh, from arts to um, humanities and uh, from uh, uh, sciences like uh, mathematics and physics and chemistry and biology to uh, cutting edge uh, technologies like AI and computer science and uh, information technologies. Uh, Etc. Um, regarding, we should focus on internationalization uh, because, uh, as you uh, can assume, uh, in Greece you can study either uh, in Greek or in English. Um, there are uh, actually only four undergraduate programs, bachelor's taught in English. There are three medical degrees, six-year English taught medical degrees. Um, Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, University of Athens, and University of Crete offer uh, medical degrees. And uh, the first um, undergraduate program uh, to be ever created in Greece was a BA program, a Bachelor's in Arts, uh, in uh, the archaeology, history, and literature of ancient Greece, because uh, it's strongly related to the country's uh, heritage, uh, history, and you know, uh, world uh, reputation. Um, and why we have only four uh, English taught uh, bachelors? Because um, before uh, four years before Greek university, four years ago, Greek universities. Uh, didn't have the opportunity, the legal framework um, uh, was not fertile, were, was prohibited by law to uh, create English taught programs in order to attract international uh, students with tuition fees, because uh, higher education in Greece well, it was for free. So free of tuition fees for uh, European citizens and for Greeks, of course. But uh, then, uh, given this uh, reform, uh, Greek universities uh, have the opportunity to create uh, English taught, uh, and in general, no, uh, Greek taught programs are for free still, English taught programs with tuition fees. So there are many more programs to, to be launched, to be created and launched in uh, 2024 and uh, within the forthcoming years. Uh, and I'm mentioning it, I'm analytical because uh, we're, we're going to partner with uh, recruitment agents from around the globe, so it's uh, very important to, to know this uh, information. Um, regarding the master's uh, level, um, the picture is uh, completely different because there are 200 master's programs, English taught, international master's, in uh, a wide range of disciplines uh, that uh, accept, receive international application and students, and uh, both for Greeks and for European and for uh, students for, from third countries, um, these masters include uh, tuition fees. So no taboos, now we're more uh, capitalistic, we can say capitalists in uh, the higher education sector. Um, but uh, to be honest, uh, and that's a strength of Greece, um, why study in Greece? Because uh, first of all, Greece is a cost-effective destination compared to other European uh, countries' destinations. Um, uh, and uh, for example, a medical degree costs approximately 
uh, 13,000 euros per year. And the bachelor's in arts that I mentioned already costs uh, uh, 5,000 euros per year. And regarding the master's, uh, they start from uh, 1,000 euros for the whole curriculum, for the whole uh, program to uh, 10,000 euros for uh, an MBA, an international MBA. So it's uh, relatively cost effective compared to other European uh, destinations. Um, so why study in Greece? Because Greece is beautiful, of course. We know the, the sunny beaches and the, the magnificent landscapes. Um, due to the climate change, unfortunately, it's very hot. Okay, we, love, we all love sun, but um, you know, we, you should use your sun cream every day. <laughs> um, uh, Greece is sunny, Greece is beautiful, Greece is safe, Greece is uh, cost effective. And uh, international students can enjoy a vibrant lifestyle in Greece. And these uh, are the crossroads between uh, Asia, Africa, and Europe. You're exactly. In, in the middle. Okay. Exactly. And that means that we can adapt to changing mind, to different mindset and cultures, given that we we are we have the perception of the crossroad. Uh, yeah. Can you please change? Uh, Ah, um, it's very important to uh, to mention that uh, within this new framework of uh, modernization and internationalization, um, one of our uh, strategic uh, priorities is to bridge the gap to connect uh, universities, academia with uh, industry, with the market. Uh, that's why we are trying to create um, a network of uh, that connects uh, universities, Greek universities, with uh, companies, both Greek and international companies uh, based in Greece, uh, in order to offer to international students, to Greek students as well, uh, internship opportunities and work opportunities in our country. Uh, that's why, for example, we uh, collaborate with the American Hellenic Chamber of uh, Commerce and the uh, uh, Deutsche Griechische Chamber of Commerce, uh, German Chamber of Commerce based in Athens, uh, to give you more uh, to telling examples of this uh, effort. Uh, George, do you want to add something? Can you change yes, the verse? This is uh, this is the guided tour on the website. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, so hands over to George, and uh, we will exchange. We will interact with each yeah. other. Uh, it is uh, first of all. Can can you still screen uh, see the screen on the website, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, first of all, the the thing that Todoris uh, mentioned about our six platforms, uh, it is located directly on the website. The first two. Uh, the first two platforms are for search about master, bachelors and masters. Uh, the magic platform is for uh, academics that want to serve their schools and do international collaborations. Uh, the most important is the ATSIC platform that has been launched from, I think, October uh, to November uh, of 2023. And is slowly gathering uh, programs that will... Uh, uh, accept applications online uh, centrally from studying Greece. So it is really important to to take a look and uh, it's important to to explain to present the whole uh, application procedure. Yes, uh, we we do have a video on that about okay. on uh, on the on the website. There is video tutorials for people who want to apply on uh, on the platform. And of course, we uh, through the Housing platform we are gathering the requests for people who want to uh, to find accommodation here. So uh, we have a, a, a couple of faces on our sleeves on the website. Uh, we have Plan Your Studies and Student Services, starting from uh, Plan Your Studies. We have the before arrival checklist, as you can uh, see, to take a look on the uh, platform, see the applications. We have some information about the, the visa that uh, needs to be to be issued 
Uh, we have some useful links about that. Uh, we are also in close collaboration with partners that can handle the, the visa thing. Uh, as I said, uh, we are collaborating with uh, GBC World that are uh, collaborating with embass Greek embassies abroad and are able to help throughout the process uh, of the visa of the visa. And we also have uh, the option of accommodation and insurance. These things we will uh, talk about a bit later. How to arrive, of course, we have the Athens International Airport. We, in, in Athens, we have uh, Macedonia, Macedonia Airport in uh, Thessaloniki. And of course, there is Nikos Kazantzakis Airport in uh, Heraklion in Crete. Uh, there are, uh, you can also move around the Greece uh, through buses. Uh, C network. We have everything uh, someone needs to to have a small um, idea of how to uh, how transport works in uh, in Greece. It looks like a tourist agency. Oh uh, well, well, <laughs> we should yeah. we should facilitate. Yeah, yes, right. of course. Uh, keep in mind that in every every fair that we're participating, people ask us where where should I go for summer. No, it's essential. <laughs> So, uh, we have some uh, additional information as a survival guide for students about the benefits of, the, of an academic ID. And because I saw it on the Q&A from, uh, from an agent, uh, uh, if I'm Ismail. not mistaken, Ismail, Ismail. Uh, we have the average cost of living, uh, about the food. Housing has got a bit more ex expensive than what we are um we are uh, having here uh, it is around uh, 100 150 more but comparing to other european countries it is still reasonable with thousand euros per month 1200 euros per month you can yes. live you, you can you can live and, like a human yeah you can live go out uh, ev everything uh, comparing to europe uh, many many things are uh, are cheap the entertainment the dining is uh, uh, it's cheap, and I will also like to mention, uh, be because the reason I mentioned it before about cost the effective, not cheap, cost effective, <laughs> value for money. <laughs> uh, 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 first of all, uh, Thodoris mentioned that uh, a program starts from a thousand uh, euros for a master's program mm. for the whole curriculum to ten thousand. Mm. The MBAs are are costly, but I would say that the average cost of a master's in Greek. Uh, is around three to three to five thousand euros mm. for the yeah. whole uh, program. Mm. Um, I don't want you to to scare them. <laughs> you can also yeah. take a look about uh, this course on the masters and bachelors platform. The prices are there and are regularly updated through our staff and through the secretaries of the programs. Uh, moving on to the student life, there are many many things to do. Uh, with archaeological sites, with uh, um, with dining, nightlife, uh, etc. There is many, many stuff a student can enjoy here, and uh, I would like to uh, I would like to talk about uh, first the ATSIC platform that you can uh, see that uh, people can apply, and uh, we will uh, do it on the second version of the ATSIC platform that will be launched in late twenty twenty four. Uh, for agents, uh, because we would also like to incorporate the function of an agent that wants mm -hmm. to do applications for more than one student. Uh, this is on the second um, version of the platform. We will uh, we'll be launching it uh, late uh, 2024. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, the, the most helpful platform the, throughout the years is the help desk. We have a centralized um, handling of requests and information everyone wants to see. And I would also like to mention something important, something that is no, not widely known about the bachelors. So the uh, talked about a bit, but uh, I will go uh, further in that. Uh, when we talk about bachelors in Greece, there is the four, four to five bachelors programs that are taught in English and are available for international students. But we have to keep in mind that um, also bachelor's programs are taught in Greek. And when the bachelor's program is taught in Greek, uh, it is free of charge. It is uh, uh, without any further um, further payment. 
The books are free, the academic ID is free. But uh, through the bachelor's page, you can take a look about the bachelors that are taught in Greek. And uh, there is a small procedure through the ministry for, uh, for a student to create some documents, makes a, translate some documents about their, their high school, um, many, other, many other things. It is here on the required documents. And we have applications that are starting around 10th of July. For a week, they are open, so people need to prepare their documents beforehand. But they can apply to up to 10 institutions and with uh, an, a descending order, order in, uh, you know, the first one is the one you really want to go, and you can choose uh, nine more. Mm -hmm. And if you get accepted, you have nine months uh, to acquire a B2 certification in Greek, B2 level certification in Greek, but you have the certification, you can start on October at the beginning of the semester. So this is a, a really nice information about someone who is open to learning new language. It is not easy, but it's, uh, it, is a, it, is a fantastic, it is worthy. Yeah, it is a fantastic experience, uh, even more when you understand that you would not have to pay any tuition fees. Um, uh, the procedure is, uh, is, uh, is here. You can take a look. And uh, because we, we have the, the document that uh, uh, Nyox uh, sent us, uh, we have to talk about also um, about the requirements, about the master's and bachelor's program, English taught bachelor's and master's. Uh, the requirements usually um, are different between universities, but uh, a rule of thumb is to have a B2 certification in English, uh, have finished uh, the school, um, uh, high school. High school yeah. And uh, uh, if, you are, if you want to go to a master's program, you have to do a bachelor's degree that is um, depending on the uh, the uh, on the master. You it has to be the same uh, subject. Uh, subject. Yes. Uh, Approximately. Yes. Uh, so um, I will uh, I will end with the visa. Um, it, it is uh, it is true that uh, of course our national uh, our embassies abroad are doing the best they can. Mm. We're in close collaboration with them. We can if an issue comes but, but we cannot force them we, we cannot force them and some embassies are mm. uh, regretfully understaffed mm. at the moment so we need a little uh, bit of patience of course study Greece is here to you know facilitate facilitate some procedures uh, make some phone calls try to help somehow uh, but you need a bit of patience on that and about the accommodation we are really happy to say that we are the last six months, we are collaborating with uh, operators and real estate agencies that are offering and create uh, student accommodation, which is also something new in Greece because the last two years, student accommodation is becoming a thing. Uh, so we're in close collaboration with them. We can help you out if someone needs uh, somewhere to stay. And of course, the accommodations that, we are, that are promoted through study in Greece are uh, licensed collaborators and operators. Uh, we have seen their apartments. We have uh, take a look. We know uh, who will be renting, uh, uh, who will be the operator, and um, be sure that the service that is offered uh, is fantastic. So thank you very much for your attendance today. It was wonderful. We had 70 agents who joined us which is a wonderful number and I'm very thankful for our agents as well. After today, I wish you great collaborations and um, for sure, if you need any help, please reach out to me and also our agents team. And of course, once again, I have noted the people who already sent your email uh, on the Q&A and we will also send it to you and George. So have a great day. Many thanks. Many thanks for this <laughs> exceptional collaboration.